Local public school students sweating it out as they begin their second full week of classes. What is being done to fix the problem? Down to the wire for the congressional campaigns in Northwest Florida. What is at stake as Matt Gates and Aaron Dimmick duke it out for your votes? Anglers are back at the Gulf State Park Pier. See the turnout as the pier fully reopened for the first time since 2020. It's that time. Time for News 5 Now. This is News 5 Now, streaming live to your neighborhood and around the world. I'm Cherish Lombard. We are glad you're here with us for News 5 Now. We do this every day live at 530. We get together here on Facebook as well as WKRG.com, whichever platform you are watching on. We thank you so much for that. We talk about the big stories of the day. We also want to make sure you know we appreciate you. You are included. That is why we post a Facebook question of the day and a poll of the day. We are asking you to give us your thoughts in both. And we're going to share those things here before we end this. Let's start by counting down the five big stories of the day. Number five, you can now take advantage of the full Gulf State Park Pier. It reopened at 7 o'clock this morning to a line of anglers with their fishing poles. They rushed past the barricade to drop a line there for the first time since Hurricane Sally badly damaged the pier in 2020. MD Thomas Construction, the same company that renovated the pier before Sally, fixed it. Repairs began in November. Everyone there we talked with is stoked to see familiar faces and hopefully reel in a big one at their favorite spot. Number four, the final push for votes is on in the Florida Panhandle. Two candidates both want to win the GOP nod to go to Congress. Incumbent Republican Congressman Matt Gates is looking for a fifth term, representing Northwest Florida as challenger retired Navy officer Aaron Dimmick tries to unseat him. The Florida primary will decide. County commission races are also being held in Escambia, Santa Rosa, and Okaloosa counties. Polls open tomorrow, Tuesday at 7 o'clock a.m. Number three, anti-Israeli protesters plan to make noise in Chicago. As the Democratic National Convention gets underway, President Biden will deliver the keynote speech tonight, but the majority of the convention will focus on Kamala Harris, Tim Walls, and the future of the Democratic Party. Four nights of speeches about the Democratic candidates explaining how they plan to fight inflation and guarantee abortion access. Dems will also spend time at the primetime podium slamming President Donald Trump, or I should say former President Donald Trump. At stake in November's race is the Oval Office and control of the Senate with very important swing state races. We have several delegates from Lower Alabama and Northwest Florida who are sharing stories with News 5 about their time there. And you can see those stories on our WKRG newscasts. Number two, LaFleur High School students forced from class as they began their second full week of school because the air conditioner was out. A Mobile County Public School spokesperson says a weekend power outage as well as construction on campus allowed the heat to win. So students were dismissed early. However, by this afternoon, cool air were told flowing again. So we understand class will be back in session tomorrow. Number one, a happy ending to a story. She is safe. A Spanish 14 who walked off into the woods Saturday, now reunited with her family. Nearly 100 people led by the Cajun Navy got together to find 14-year-old Twyla Tarvin. They searched a heavily wooded area off Jimmy Faulkner Drive between Spanish Fort High School and Middle School. Twyla and her family just moved to the eastern shore. People... Dogs, drones, ATVs, and a helicopter were all used to get her to safety. She was found underneath a shed. You're, that's what you're looking at right here. And there she is, back out and safe. Those are your big stories of the day. And now to our question of the day, where we share your answers on our Facebook question. It is, your plane crashes on an island. What five things would you want to have with you? This could get interesting. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, right off the bat, a helicopter and four bottles of tequila. I don't know that you need the tequila. You have a helicopter, you're good to go. 
Uh, also, that was from Stephen. Tessa agrees. A helicopter, a helicopter pilot, water, food, a tent. Yeah, you don't really need those last three things. You have the helicopter and the pilot. I agree. Adam says algebra, science, and social studies. We got some laughs on that one. You can see here. Uh, Kenny says a lighter, a knife, parachute would work as a shelter, close by water source, and depending if I was on Survivor, an immunity idol. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Alan, looks like he may want some of his friends or family members there with him. Okay, Michael says, All right, kind of going with the tequila. He says four beers and a satellite phone. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jason, oh, Jason, see, this is like a mom life quote. Hashtag mom life. Nothing. Just hold off on the search till I am about to enjoy this. <laughs> hold off on the search team. I'm about to enjoy this. Yeah, just for a little while. Uh, Ellen says, a mirror to signal for help or help start a fire, a knife, cast nut, first aid kit, water purification tablets. Ellen's going to be on that island for a while. She's going to do it. She's like, I'm doing it right. Um, Adam says, I only need two. My wife, I'm afraid to see more. I'm afraid. Should I do it? Um, a defense system to keep others off my island. I want my own private island. See, he's another one. He's turning it into just kind of a getaway. And then Andrew says, two things. Also, two things. An airplane repair kit and a pair of pontoons. All right, so there you go. Um, I'm, I'm all about the helicopter. I think that's a good one. So thank you all so much for voting or for letting us know what you think about our question of the day. And now to our poll of the day where we asked you to vote. We wanted to know, do you prefer to watch movies at a theater or at home? Let's see what you're saying. Wow, look at this. 18% say theater. 82% your homebodies like me. You just want to get in your jammies, not have to worry if you're blocking anybody, not have to worry about talking or anything else. You can just get comfy. Uh, now, Lexi and I were talking about this earlier. If it's something you need to see, like IMAX, that's different. But for the most part, yeah, I'm with you. 82% want to just do it in your jammies at home. I get it. Okay, so this is the time to go ahead and vote in our question of the day or poll of the day, I should say, for tomorrow. And also let us know what you think about our question of the day, both on our Facebook page. The poll is, are you watching the Democratic National Convention? Well, yeah, I should probably tell you about the question first, right? Uh, what is your go-to snack? That is the question. We want to know what is your go-to snack. And yeah, we already heard from a few of you about <laughs> some tequila and things like that. Uh, what else? But let's talk food. What is your go-to snack? And the poll, are you watching the Democratic National Convention this week? So again, let us know on our Facebook page. And then we'll do this again tomorrow at 530 on our Facebook page and also WKRG.com. Thank you all so much once again for joining us for News 5 Now.